Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Capricorn. Can we read their mind? Well, we will try and I'll tell you how. So first off, let's just clear the intention. As I do this title, obviously we're doing that with the intention to understand, okay, a partner, a romantic connection better. We do that sometimes when there is lack of communication. And sometimes you even hear couples talk and say, hey, I don't know, I can't read your mind. I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> well, I'm trying to be one today. Now, my map for reading their mind is those 12 cards. There are 12 areas of life. Before I even turn them, I'm going to say, what are areas that want to come out randomly? So let's use a 12-sided dice to pick four areas of life. I have these in a description box and you guys are probably familiar with. I'll explain as we go, of course. First, we got six. Okay, so this is work life or day-to-day -day chores. And then we have, okay, nine. Alrighty, philosophy. The way I know them, guys, the dot is at the bottom. Okay, so this is the nine and this is the six. Alrighty, Capricorn, what else? One, personality, how we present and how we may be perceived. Okay, one more. We have five, that is romance, romantic life. Okay, okay. Using the, okay, Spanish tarot, which is a Marseille tarot, okay, but with a few tweaks here little smaller than regular size. Now we begin with a very sharp persona, Capricorn. This is our queen of swords. This is our, you know what, I speak little, but I do a lot and I know a lot and I need a lot to know. <laughs> this is an inquisitive, okay, rational type of personality. From, uh, you know what, the outlook on everything in life, um, more factual, if I were to define a kind of persona. And we're lucky here because we got this in the first card. So let's talk about the elements and how they may describe different personality types. We'll look at the swords and say, rational. For the most part, factual. For the most part, we'll think before, you know what, take huge action, right? Hopefully they all think, but <laughs> that way. If we look at the wands, we will say, well, more adventurous, okay? More wanting to take action in the moment as they get inspired, right? Then we look at the coins and we say, quite reserved, you know? Don't always act. Um, they have to have everything kind of figured out before they even take action. Then we look at the cups and we say, ah, those people, they just, they're such idealists. They can go either way. You know, they'll act, they'll follow their heart. This one here, we're talking about the rational, okay? If that aligns with you, Look at how we look at their work life. They have the justice card. They are, in a way, though, saturated with some romantic idea. So, interesting here that between those two sword-holding energies, we have the Nine of Cups. Alrighty, Capricorn. So, the Nines represent were, <coughs> excuse me, almost there, nearing some kind of um, finality. A finality towards a feeling, a finality towards action. I don't know, but it's promising. Now, spiritually speaking here, and we may have someone with the high priest here who is really digging deeper, okay? Trying to understand more, trying to um, philosophize more about the reason of life. They may be even seeking some advice. This could be someone who, you know what, checks in also on the spiritual side. I'm not saying they watch tarot readings, but who's checking in in that space making sure that they are balanced as the mind, body, and soul that we are. So I kind of like that energy, guys. That's seeking higher wisdom as well. Let's not push it and say they are, you know what, attracted to this or that, but really seeking the higher wisdom in an area where we could use higher wisdom, spirituality, philosophy, and how that may impact our outlook on different areas of life. Now, I see this persona, Capricorn, as someone who knows that the effort they put gets them the rewards they want. So with the Justice card in terms of the day-to-day um, -day chores, mainly work life, I see potentially a very successful energy, guys. Someone who knows the value of what they put and they want to keep using that to advance. Now, something else too we could say. So really, this position could also give you an indication on what they may look like as a, you know what, as a partner. We talk about day-to-day -day chores. It isn't just work. 
It could be things that we do around children, offspring, things that we do around the household, shared responsibilities. <clears throat> so really, um, this is also a very, very, in my humble view, positive indication on someone who's willing to, you know what, meet you halfway. Someone who will think of, you know what, the day-to-day -day life with all its responsibilities, fairly with you, accepts your participation, and also knows that they have to have, you know what, uh, some pitching in, in that space. Okay, okay, okay. Let's turn those cards. Let's see what they may, uh, you know what, think in other areas of life as well. So beginning with a very sharp, as we said, Queen of Swords, value system here, and we have the Emperor. Okay, more grounded energy, more long vision, long-term vision type energy, more established, more traditional. Okay, I am beginning to get the sense that this is also of a protector type nature, the personality itself. Okay, now, are they easy to convince? Uh, maybe not always, okay, with the emperor here, but let's see what else we get here. Okay, in terms of thinking and communication, they are sharp and they like to think always a little bit high level. So we continue on working with the element of rationality in terms of the way they may present, and the way that the mind process may be. That gives you an idea. Now, if you know, and you are a complete opposite persona, Capricorn, if you know that when you sometimes have conversation, you are so answering without specificity, that could be something that bugs them. This, I think, I think, I think, especially also with the justice here, I think this is someone who likes to know facts. Now, how do we do that in romance, right? Tell them straight, okay? Be straight up, shoot it at them. I love you, you know, do you love me? Give me straight answers. But I also think in different kinds of conversations, they'd get annoyed with um, vague responses, you know, more of a, not necessarily a black and white, but in a way, a black and white kind of mindset. Let's see what they think in terms of home and family life. More and more inspired consideration. So, this is right before we get to a four of wands. And do you know what that means? Okay. Do you know what that means? I believe we do. It is a happy, inspiring routine in the area where we look at it. Okay. At work, I say that's how we know things were gro are growing as well. Here, we're about to get to some format, to something fun in that area of life. So, I like the methodical. I know that they may not sometimes communicate so clearly. But you have an energy here that you can really get them to, you know what, say it out. Okay, what do they think? We said we're quite saturated with a, a lovely romantic idea here with the Nine of Cups. What do they think about marriages and partnerships? Okay, Queen of Beautiful Colors, first off. I really love her dress, but the Queen of Coins. Okay, a very grounded energy, a very long-term vision. You know what, a very nourishing kind of energy as well. Two queens we get for them, guys. And we also get their justice card here in day-to-day -day chores. This is very, very wise, shall we say. And um, again, nourishing. At one hand, they are nourishing with, you know what, kindness and even resources, okay? A generous persona too. On the other hand, they may not be so nourishing, but they will be protective. That is something I may see here. And I hope that that resonates. Okay. Transformation. Are we going to get our 10 or something? I was waiting for the 10 of cups here, but I got the priorities in order to make that call. Okay. So just a few things have to align that feeling, that gut feeling has to be correct. Okay. I am going to propose to Capricorn or I'm going to ask Capricorn out. I'm going to have a longer vision chat with Capricorn. Do you see me? Do we see each other in it for the long term? Okay, well, do we have elements that we need to align now and say, okay, if I do this in the next year and a half, what do you do? You know, how do we see our careers taking us together? Do we live in the same state? Do we live in, you know what, those kinds of considerations for a big change, a transformation we're talking about. If we're talking about marriage, well, that is a big change. Priorities, understand, but lenient and at the same time able to Maneuver and negotiate, not so solid. I was looking at the emperor here, Capricorn, and I was thinking, okay, God help me with that head. 
if they are so strong on it has to be this way and it has to be that way and then what the heck do i say to capricorn because i know you too if that may align with you i mean capricorns also got their own strong ideas right anyway this is moving it's fluid and at the same time i see kind energies that could get two people to reason okay and i see it here up in the romance side as well that's a driver status and achievement and yes ten of wands yes they have a big goal they have a big goal and they they know they're gonna get there okay there's no turning around this so everything else also needs to be aligned with that and hopefully you also have a bigger goal right and it's going to align social life okay well, the Ace of Swords, um, it's to say perhaps your impact on them gives them a completely new outlook or they need to begin. They need to start associating more. So I see the Ace and I also say this is someone who, again, maybe, you know what, we'll tell it as it is. They may be a bit of a loner. Okay, let's look at the Ace maybe this way. Um, you know what? Well, why? Well, because I'm like that. I don't BS people. So a few people are going to want to associate sometimes with the most honest, and especially if they are an achiever type, their element of how they view others, it's going to show. And by, guy, by the guy, the way, boys, by the way, guys, <laughs> um, sometimes this may appear as a little bit arrogant, but other times it's not. I mean, why not let someone be? If they, you know what, don't associate with certain people because they're not on the same, yes, he's the emperor, they're the emperor or the queen of swords. They're not on the same wavelength. That doesn't mean they're antisocial, right? I always, you know what, say that associate with people at the same mind level. That way you can help each other out. Successful energy breeds success. You can rub that off each other and so on and so forth. So if I were to say something to you, Capricorn, and you find them maybe not always, you know, active socially, let's figure out why. Is it because they also have a strong value system? Is it because they believe in certain responsibilities? Is it because they have such a high regard for responsibility that they may see some friendships as maybe useless? not even worth you know what developing further um i'm not giving excuses by the way but that's just what's coming at me here all right hidden feelings what do we have here we have the sun okay thank you um spanish tarot for coming up and, and in a way making me feel good about you know what if i were to pull a note okay predictive take that with a ton of salt and say what's in their heart the sun guys the the you know what completion of big goals okay they're a nourishing ability they want to have you know what a successful life in different departments of life the concept of duality is there with us okay um preparation before they you know what either make decisions there's a logic to the way they build things and i hope to god that this resonates with you guys i hope to god that we tried you know what to spark an idea maybe undo some lack of clarity in some area of life as to how you can read their mind at times capricorn this was our reading i continue to thank you guys for your support thank you guys so much would love to hear from you drop me a line say something and as always i want you to know we do love you madly and bye for now guys